Yo, this legit might be a game changer. Legit might be a game changer, fam. and water that's it running on fumes at this point but um yeah i don't know i haven't vlogged in a little while so you know why not bring y'all along with me to like you know see my day i guess that's really all it is um today is thursday and i'm just leaving work i usually work from home on thursdays but i had to go into the office because they're switching out our laptops and actually it kind of sucks because I had a wax appointment today that I had to cancel because I had to come into the office and I'm pretty sure my wax lady is like fed up with me because every time I have a wax appointment I have to like reschedule it because I'm like running late or I have to do something like it's just ridiculous and I'm pretty sure she's like look girl find you a new waxer but she's super nice I love her um so yeah, I had to reschedule my appointment for like three weeks out because I just need to stop, I need to stop, why can I say this? I need to stop scheduling them during the week because it just be too much going on trying to like go do it on my lunch and stuff. Um, so literally the only open Saturday she had was the 14th and that's in like, that's three Saturdays. So yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I actually was supposed to get a wax last week but I changed that appointment to a brow appointment because I was getting my hair done and I like having my brows done when I get you know a new hairstyle I just feel like it makes me look better overall and it just like makes the look pop you feel me but yeah so I know she probably like this girl on games she playing whatever but I think what I'm gonna do because I've been looking this up recently is like using Nair or Beat down there and I kind of want to try it since I have three weeks to go I'm pretty sure like if I use it and it actually works by the time my wax appointment comes up it'll be like enough there for her to still like do what she does you know so I think I'm gonna do it because I do want to try it um I kind of do want like an alternative to waxing because waxing hurts I don't like having to like go in and get it done like I would much rather just do it at home um getting waxed is pretty much the same thing that I feel about getting my nails done except getting my nails done doesn't hurt except for the last time I got my nails done when I got them took off they was cutting up my whole entire fingertips but that's a whole other story for a different day um but yeah, I feel like it's the same thing. I just don't like the inconvenience of having to like schedule an appointment, go in and get it done. And even though like with waxes, it's not as bad as getting your nails done. Cause it's just like you're in and out. It takes probably 10 minutes to get it done. But still it's like, I have to drive there. I'm so lazy y'all. I have to drive there. I have to get it done, drive home. And then it's just like so painful. So. I mean, it's not that painful. Like, I'm used to it now to the point where it's like, even if it is painful, it's just like, I can deal with it. Like, I, I can pretty much suck it up at this point. But still, and I've been on this whole thing where like, I'm trying to save money, which is why I don't get my nails done. I haven't got my nails done in like two months because I'm like literally spending 80 to $85 on my nails a month. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I stopped getting those done. And I am kind of considering taking a break from waxes as well. I think my waxes are like 45, which isn't that bad. 45 once a month. It's not that bad, but you know, it's still many that I could technically be saving. So, you know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna try this little beat thing and we're gonna see how it'll go. I gotta go um, to the store and pick it up. So we're gonna do that at 
after I get out of Josie practice, so in a little bit, okay? I'm sitting in traffic, so <laughs> let me pay attention to the road. Bye. Need a nigga, but you know he breaking bread. If you see me with this nigga, I rock shows by myself. Ain't no backup, ain't no Hello, oh, going to the Kroger. All right, guys, made it to the grocery store. Oh. Okay, so I'm looking for three things. I wonder if it's in the men's. I'm actually not sure. One is like a, um, like a, okay, I don't see it. It's. I have to insert the pictures of what it is because I can't remember the name of it. So, child, I didn't walk all the way away from the place I was supposed to be. I'm tripping. I didn't think I was getting. Um, all right, so I don't know if I want this. Three-in-one gel cream removes any type of hair, reduces ingrowns, leaves skin moisturized. Okay, or this. I've seen people with this shower power. What y'all think? What else y'all got? I don't want no wax strips, honey. Three-in-one hair removal. Works while you shower, max effective even on coarse hair, 100% argon oil. Does this one have oil in it? Aloe vera. Decisions, decisions. What y'all think? Leave in the comments which one you think I should have got. I think I'm gonna get they the same price too. I think I'm gonna get the. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I think I'm gonna get the V because I like this color. That might be a dumb reason, but that's why I'm getting it. So yeah, there we go. All right, you guys. So I got the goods from Kroger, and I am on my way home so I can do the do. But first. Chick-fil-A. I gotta eat, fam. Like, I'm starving. Literally, I haven't eaten all day. Best customer service in the world. Why y'all ain't just come to this one? Everybody at the other one, why? Best customer service in the world, you feel me? Bump a uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A is undefeated. I'm about to get a chicken sandwich and some nuggets and some fries. That's how hungry I am. Told y'all all I had was grapes and tuna today, so she's about to throw down. Yes, girl, get your orders. Get y'all's orders in, best place ever. Okay, you guys, so I am back home and I'm about to try the Nair. So, well, we're gonna see how this uh, how this actually works because I'm actually really, really scared and really nervous. I think I'm gonna just like do some test spots or something first because I don't wanna burn my vagina. So, yeah, we'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, so I got the V one. Okay, and these are the directions. It says takes five to 10 minutes, three easy steps, remove the plug, pump the V onto the spatula or your hands, spray evenly, full coat on your hair. Um, do not rub it in. Do not forget to wash any cream off of your hands. Leave the cream on for five minutes and then use the spatula to gently remove away Use a wider or narrower end of the spatula, depending on the body part, to remove the rest. If your hair is more stubborn, you can leave the cream for up to 10 minutes in total, but do not leave on any longer. Rinse your skin thoroughly with water and remove cream completely, then dry. Rinse the nozzle, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's try this. Okay, so I got the first side and the top part on. Um, I'm only doing one side at a time because like I say, I don't want to burn myself. Um, so, yeah. Just 
trying to like be precautious and take my time. All right. All right, so I'm gonna test, it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna test some spots now. Looks like I might need to let it sit for the full 10. Oh, um, it's a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for the full 10 minutes, or mm, I'll say like another two minutes. I would say right now, like it's not burning or anything. I wish I could have just did the whole thing at once. But um, yeah, it's not burning. It just feels normal. So yeah, we'll see. All right, so I left it on for eight minutes at this point. So I'm about to, I guess, remove it with the little spatula thing. Yo, this legit might be a game changer. Legit might be a game changer, fam. Okay, you guys, so my final thoughts on using V down there are that it is a freaking game changer okay like honestly it's almost as good as waxing granted with waxing i feel like obviously they're able to get like 100 percent of the hair most of the time um and with the v i feel like i got probably like 95 96 percent but it wasn't anything that like is going to bother me um so I definitely feel like it's something that I'm going to do again. Um, literally, it took 10, uh, about 10 minutes to do because um, I left it on for eight minutes, but I did have to do it twice because I did like one half and then the other half. Um, I'm pretty sure I could have just did it all at once. Um, I think I'm going to try to do that the next time and just do it all in one little go round. But honestly, it's a game changer. Like if you're prone to getting like ingrowns and um like razor bumps if you shave and you like don't want to get waxed i really could, would highly recommend you trying to use the v or the nair down there if you're a waxer and you just don't want to like keep getting waxed all the time or you get ingrowns because like i wax i've been doing it for like two years and i still get ingrown hairs from time to time and it's annoying um so i feel like if you want to just like try something different especially something that's a little more cost effective try it out okay so if you do use the v or nair down there let me know in the comments um how you like it or if you used it before let me know or if you see this video and then you try it let me know in the comments but yeah i definitely am gonna do it again i give it a thumbs up and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future vlogs future I don't know reviews whatever y'all know just look at the videos y'all y'all can see what i'll be posting but yeah don't forget to join the family it's free don't cost you anything and i don't get paid for it so just hit that subscribe and then hit the little bell button as well so you can be notified whenever i post another video but that's it for this one i will catch y'all in the next one peace